This is my suburban habitat. My suburbitat. And I'm gonna survive here. One, two, three, four. It's nice Tennessee humid heat. All right, mama found a little patio tomato that she wants to keep and I think the fact that I already had a nice tomato on is what sold it to her. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in, a, in a, this spot right here that I had a cilantro in and never came up and uh, see what happens. So I'm also thinking that uh, some of this yellowing is due to uh, a little bit of lack of water, so I'm going to get a little bit heavier regimen, but also lack of nitrogen. And I was looking around, doing some studying, and blood meal came up. And so, and I'm not sure if it says organic choice, but I don't know if it's truly organic or not. Anyways, I'm going to put this in and I got some uh, bone meal as well by the way I just found this at Home Depot along with the bone meal okay so for the bone meal it says half half a tablespoon for a square foot So we'll go about half. And that was the uh, bone meal. Okay, so for the blood meal, that's a full tablespoon per square foot. Okay. Gonna mix that up in here. Now I am I am gonna take a little bit of this kind of work a little bit down in the hole where I'm going to put that. It's probably good. Worm castings. Sprinkle a little bit of that in there. This is my azomite rock dust. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Got some, got some dead leaves. I'm gonna just take those off. Back. We got two down here. I'm just gonna pull these off. So I can get it as deep as I can.
All right, I'm gonna score up some of these roots, kind of get them excited. I'm gonna try to pull this little bit of this bottom out. Take a little bit of the bottom piece out of there. Against it there. All right, we're gonna get the some do a little bit more worm castings around. Straighten it up a little bit. More. A little more rock dust in there. little trench around it so I can get the water to hold in there without getting up to the to the stem. And then I'm supposed to take and sprinkle this around. And don't get any on the leaves it said. So it says to water it in. And the water it in. So here on the other side. All right. Well, let's see how that bone meal works on that. I'm going to mix some more. And go around on these other plants and uh, of course now I know what was going on on these cauliflowers and stuff it was a cabbage worm and I've seen a couple different ways to get rid of them one is to put flour on your on your leaves in the morning when it's dewy they'll eat those get that flour in them and swell up and die Another one was an organic substance. I don't remember the two uh, elements in it. Uh, I saw in the container the word thuricide. And uh, you're supposed to dilute that down into some water, spray your plant leaves, and then they'll eat that. And within a day, they'll die and go away. And uh, once I figure that out, I'll give credit back to uh, who told me about it. 
So there we one, go. One, two, three, four.